Hello dear students in this video you will study about transformations let's suppose this is a triangle abc and this is triangle a dash b dash and c dash now this triangle is basically enlargement of this triangle we have made another triangle a dash b dash and c dash from this triangle so this triangle is basically called object and this is image of this triangle and we can also say that a dash is image of a and b dash is image of b and c dash is image of c so this is basically a transformation from this triangle to this triangle we have different types of uh, transformations we are going to start from reflection this is first type of uh, transformation reflection in reflection we will have a line of reflection about which we will reflect any shape for example this is a straight line this is our line of reflection if we reflect this triangle a b and c along this triangle along this line of reflection we will have another triangle at this side now for reflection there is a working rule i'm going to write here that the distance between object and uh, line of reflection is equal to the distance between image and line of reflection this is a working rule for reflection now this is our line of reflection and in case of reflection not only in reflection in case of all type of uh, transformations we need to transform all shapes point by point i mean if we have uh, three points in this triangle a b and c we are not going to reflect the shape we are going to reflect points first of all uh, we will reflect point A, then we will reflect point B, then we will reflect point C. Now we are going to start from point A. The distance between line of reflection is point A here is 7 cm. So the distance between its image from line of reflection will, will also be 7 cm. So its image will be here A prime. Similarly, we, we will uh, find image of uh, point B again the distance is 7 so we will have here b dash this is a dash the image of a this is b dash the image of b and look at the distance of uh, c from line of reflection it is 14 centimeter so uh, at other side it, it will be equal to 14 centimeter now we will join a dash b dash and c dash so this is reflection of this triangle abc this shape is object and this shape is image now again I'm going to tell you that we cannot uh, transform the entire shape at the spot we we need to transform point by point first of all we will uh, transform point A then point B and then point C and then we will join all points in images now let's suppose another example in uh, in which we have uh, a line of reflection a different line of reflection this is a coordinate system and this is our line of reflection this this is basically y is equal to x this line is called y is equal to x because throughout this line the value of y and x is always same for example if we need to this is the, our triangle abc if we need to reflect this uh, triangle along this line of reflection first of all we will see what is the distance between a and then we will follow same distance on other side this will be a dash similarly this will be b dash and uh, this will be c dash we will have same distance on other side so now we will join a b and c now, this is image and this is object so it's all about reflection now we are going to move second type of uh, transformation this is enlargement enlargement 
enlargement. This is second type of transformation. Before we start enlargement, let me introduce the terminology. This is basically called scale factor. Scale factor. It is basically equal to the distance between center of center of enlargement and image. The distance between center of enlargement. CO you mean center of enlargement and uh, image. And uh, this will be equal to the distance between center of enlargement and object. We need to follow this thing. This is scale factor. Okay. Now, let's suppose we have a triangle A, B, and C. And uh, this is our center of enlargement. We will have uh, this center of enlargement in our questions. Now, in this uh, type of uh, transformation, which is called enlargement, we have three things center of enlargement, object, and image. Out of these three things, we will have two things in our question. Sometime we will have center of enlargement and object like we have here and we need we will have to find its image. And sometimes we will have uh, object and image and we will have to find center of enlargement. So we will have different types of questions in case of enlargement. Now, it is given in this question that scale factor is 2 k is scale factor scale factor is 2 in this question now i have written here that the scale factor is basically the ratio between the distance between center of enlargement and image and the distance between center of enlargement and object now again we are going to transform all points one by one we are going to start from point a the distance between the center of enlargement and point A is 8 cm. We can see that the distance between center of enlargement and uh, point A is 8 cm. So the distance between center of enlargement and the uh, image will be double because scale factor is 2. So we will have here 16. This is image of A which is A dash. Now the distance between the center of enlargement and this is 20 so the distance between its image from center of enlargement will be equal to 40 centimeters we need to do like this the distance will be equal to 40 centimeters here this will be B dash and again the distance between point C and center of enlargement is almost 18.5 centimeters this distance is 18.5 centimeters so if we double 18.5 centimeter we will go here at this point This is 18.5 centimeter. So this uh, this will be the image of C. Now we will join these three images. This will be our enlargement, and we can see here that this is object and this is image. And one more thing in case of enlargement that center of enlargement, object and image. These three points must be collinear. It means that uh, all these three points are lying on a straight line. Ob center of enlargement, object, image. All these three points are lying on a straight line. Similarly, center of enlargement, object and image. These three uh, points are lying on a straight line. 
like this. Okay. And this enlargement will convert into another thing if we have a center of enlargement less than one. If center of enlargement is less than one, for example, sorry, this is not center of enlargement, this is scale factor. If scale factor is less than one, for example, if scale factor is one by two, now this enlargement, this will not be called enlargement, this is called reduction because the distance between center of enlargement and point A was uh, 8 centimeters. So if scale factor is 1 by 2, this distance will become half. So we will come here at this point. Similarly, the distance between center of enlargement and this point B will become half because scale factor is 1 by 2. We will come here and uh, similarly this distance will become half. So we will have another triangle like this. This is basically called reduction. This is called enlargement because scale factor was 2. And this is called reduction because scale factor is less than 1. Now, uh, as I have already told you that we have three factors, scale factor, object, and image. And sometimes we will have uh, object and image and we will have to find scale factors. For example, uh, here, if mm, this is object and uh, if this is image now we will have to find center of enlargement what we are going to do we will join object with image like this c will be joined with c dash a will be joined with a dash and the point of intersection of these two lines will be our center of enlargement we need to do this thing for two coordinates. Don't go for third coordinate. coordinate. Only two coordinates are enough that if we have object and image, just join coordinates of object with image. The point of intersection of these straight lines will be our center of enlargement.